If you're not familiar with this whole database concept, don't worry. This video is to help you get started. The checklist here that we want to go ahead and knock out, if you don't already have, go ahead and download SQL Server Management Studio. You can also pick up the SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition, AdventureWorks DW 2017, and the Wireworld Importers DW. All of these are free material, just out and available for download and also included within the comments below. Uh, first here, the SQL Server Management Studio, go ahead and click on that link. The SQL Server Developer Edition, go ahead and click on that. AdventureWorks, we're going to look for that DW2017.bak version. And then our Wide World Importers, we're going to look for Wide World Importers DW-full period BAK. And as far as the installation instructions, I'm not going to read these to you. Uh, it feels like a book. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and pause and just knock them out top to bottom. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and do it here just uh, live on my machine. And at this point, you would like to go ahead and have the SQL Server Management Studio installed and the SQL Server Developer Edition. So whenever you open SQL Server Management Studio now, you should see the server type it should be listed as database engine server name. If it's not listed, go and type in local host and then you can go and press the connect option here. On the left hand side in the object explorer, you'll see that SQL Server address. We'll also see the databases option. So we'll go and right click databases. We'll do the restore databases option here. We'll do the device. So we'll select our local machine here with the three ellipses. We'll do the, we don't see anything listed. So we'll do our add. I'll scroll to our local machine here. So my C, my temp drive, just where I've got it stored. And I'm going to select the wide world importers file now listed, press okay. Awesome. So we can see it here. Uh, it's been listed at full database, press okay. A little bit of time to process. Hopefully not too long though. We'll see this kind of shoot up to 100 and just kind of give us that nice successful message that we'd love to see. So bam, there we go. Awesome. Press okay on the left hand side databases. If we were to expand this now, I can see I've got several listed here, but my wild world importers did come through jumping over to power query editor. If you do our new source, SQL server, that server address, if we remember, it's going to be local host. So just our current local machine. And then data connectivity modes, obviously both are supported importer direct query. Press OK. And we should see our databases listed. So top to bottom, my wide world importers, DW, expand it, all of my tables, and we are ready to go.